notices were posted. All persons of Japanese descent were required to register. They gathered in their own churches and schools, and the Japanese themselves cheerfully handled the enormous paperwork involved in the migration. Civilian physicians made preliminary medical examinations. Government agencies helped in a hundred ways. They helped the evacuees find tenants for their farms. They helped businessmen lease, sell, or store their property. Now, this aid was financed by the government, with quick disposal of property often involved financial sacrifice for the evacuees. Now the actual migration got underway. The army provided fleets of vans to transport household belongings and buses to move the people to assembly centers. The evacuees cooperated wholeheartedly. The many loyal among them felt that this was a sacrifice they could make in behalf of America's war effort. But uh, <clears throat> when I was, we were still in the Portland Assembly Center. Uh, when, it, the spring of 42 is quite warm. <clears throat> and uh, we were all stuck in what is now the Expo Center. That was the Assembly Center. And it was it held about two to three thousand people. And when the sun beat on the roof of this great big building, it became like an oven inside. And one day I thought, boy, it's stupid to stay inside. So I went on the north side of the building, on the outside, where the shade was. And on the north side of the Expo Center. It's only a few yards from the street that goes along the side of the building. <clears throat> and I was sitting there enjoying the coolness when someone hollered out, Hey, George! And I looked up and there's a car passing by. <clears throat> and from the back window was my old friend Evan Sachs. And Evan and I went to elementary school for eight years together, every single day. So we practically grew up together. and. Uh, all I had time to say was, hi, Evan, and the car rolled by. And then my eyes focused on the barbed wire fence between us. And I thought, <clears throat> it was the first time I started to think, well, there's something, you know, different about what's going on here. And uh, it was from that point on when I took things a little more seriously and, and uh, kind of developed my sense of what was uh, was uh, uh, unjustifiable so far as our civil liberties were concerned. Meanwhile, in Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, and elsewhere, quarters were being built where they would have an opportunity to work and more space in which to live. When word came that these new homes were ready, the final movement began. Mm -hmm. 